Hey Church, I hope you're doing good wherever and uh, whenever you're watching this. My name's Joel, I go to the Chester campus, um, part of the Creative in the YA team, and it's my uh, privilege today to be able to bring uh, a thought for you, um, something that's been on my heart recently. Um, one of the, the things that I've been really been learning about in the last uh, few years, to be honest, is how uh, the Psalms and how there are Psalms for pretty much any phase of life that we are going through and how they can really uh, speak into the uh, speak into our lives in those particular moments and I'm sure we've all been through uh, times in our lives in our faith where we feel like our Christian life and our, our walk with God is is not going anywhere it's it's paused or even if it's going backwards uh, and in these times it can be a real struggle to have keep faith that God is still with us and that the plans he has for us are still in his hands and Psalm 27 is a, a psalm for these particular times. Uh, it begins uh, with David giving a shouting for a, a cry of help for deliverance from his enemies, and it takes us through uh, his um, steadfast uh, wish to be close to God, to spend time in His presence, in His dwelling place, and it finishes with a, a resolution that he will wait with confidence, and that he will see God come through for him. And I particularly want to look at that last verse, verse 14, which in the NLT says, Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Verse 14 echoes uh, Joshua's words from the beginning of the book of Joshua, where they're about to enter the Holy Land. Um, he says, to, where he says to be strong and courageous. Uh, and here in a different context, this verse shows us that real courage is also found in the waiting. In reality, waiting can be tough, often frustrating, and when we uh, and we can be really be tempted to lose heart uh, if it seems like things are not going in the way that we want to uh, want them to, or in the speed at which we would like them to happen. Uh, and this is where the courage is required to not lose faith, to be bold and confident that God will indeed come through for us, as He has done before. A few years ago now, um, about the time I started coming to Audacious, um, I found myself going through one of these periods in my life uh, for a good couple of years where God felt really distant and my mind was full of negative and invasive questions and I was really in a dark place with regards to my faith. I found myself questioning everything about God uh, and there were times where I really was prepared to walk away, to be honest, um, from church and, and from my faith. But there was something in, the, in me that just kept me coming back, kept me going to church, kept me worshipping, um, even though I didn't really agree with uh, or mean any of the words that I was that I was singing, if I was honest with myself. And then gradually over a period of time, God brought me out of this, uh, this dark time by reminding me to focus on the, the fact that my faith is based on a relationship with God and not just a series of questions and answers. But I had to wait for what felt like an eternity for that to be to be brought back into the, the fullness of relationship with God. And I think Christians are waiting people. And you know, the Bible gives us many examples to follow. David, for example, himself, he was called to be king at 16, but had to wait until he was 30 till he actually became king. And during that time, he was he was chased by Saul. He was persecuted and faced many trials. And Jesus himself. He had to wait 30 years before he could start his ministry uh, and even all the 40 days where he was uh, in the desert, he had to wait to be brought out of there. And I think the key with waiting is that we need to be proactive and not reactive. You know, we need to constantly be seeking God and his will, will for us and having the courage uh, and conviction to ignore the doubts. Uh, during the waiting, things can be revealed to us about ourselves or our circumstances that we weren't expecting. Because we know that God works through all things uh, for the good of those that love him. So today, that's what I want to, to encourage you with, that if you are in a period of waiting, or waiting on God, that, uh, that you are courageous and you are brave, even if you don't feel like it. Uh, and that you can be confident that God will come through for you as he has done time and time before. And he will do time and time again. Uh, and to employ you to be full of faith that he is with you through it all. So... That's uh, what I want to share with you today. So I hope you have a great day, church, uh, and be full of confidence and courage that God is with you. Bye-bye.